Yo, what is going on guys? Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. And for today's video, we have a mixture of things to talk about. So yeah, this video will be information packed. So we will be breaking down the new synopsis that was released just yesterday for The Flash Season 7 Episode 6 which reveals some pretty interesting things about not only the character of Iris and the whole Speed Force storyline, but also does confirm that we will be getting some sort of time travel happening. But also we have some new promo images to go over for the Flash Season 7 Episode 4, which is the coming episode titled Central City Strong. And we have 18 images to go over, which I believe is the most we have ever gotten for promo images. So by the looks of it, a lot will be going down in this episode, although it will be some sort of like, a, you know, a fun filler episode, as I don't think it has anything connected to the ending which we had from episode 3, but I could be wrong. But also, we got two new episode titles revealed for episode 6 and 7, which I'll be talking about as well. But before I go over anything, however, you guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay, so as I said before, we have a new synopsis revealed for The Flash Season 7, Episode 6, and I'll be breaking that synopsis down first before I get into the promo photos and the episode titles. But The Flash Season 7, Episode 6 is titled the one with the 90s, and when you go over the synopsis, you do see why that is the case. So the synopsis goes as followed. Cisco and Chester travel back in time and get stuck in 1998. Repeating the same day over and over again, the key to returning home is at Chester's childhood home, but he refuses to visit. Meanwhile, Iris forges a connection with the speed force so yeah this synopsis is very interesting and we do have a couple of things to break down firstly time travel we will be having time travel this episode and it will mainly be focused around chester by the looks of it since the synopsis mainly centers around chester himself and him having these struggles in his childhood home by the looks of it since he is refusing to enter this childhood home which he had so yeah, this is a very interesting portion of the synopsis and I cannot wait to see how this Chester storyline plays out. Um, they get stuck in the year of 1998. Now since this is a time travel episode and they are stuck in the year of 1998, this leads me to believe that this was actually those Masonville flashbacks which we got as set photos a couple of months back. Um, I think this is a nod to Chester's childhood not Barry's. There could be some sort of a connection between the two, obviously, but by the looks of it, it's centered around Chester. Now, over here, Cisco and Chester travel back in time. I'm guessing by using the time sphere, does Barry time travel with them? We don't know because the synopsis doesn't talk about Barry or anything like that. But the issue is with this time travel mission that they're going for, this ends up being some sort of a time loop, which leads me to believe that something ends up going wrong. But yeah, I'm very interested to see this backstory with Chester. But although I'm interested, as I've said before, you guys would have heard me say this multiple times, I am not a fan when characters get their own individual filler episodes, if you will. Like, if it was directly connected to the story, and if it was something like Season 7, Episode 1, where it was mainly centered around Harrison Wells, but focused on Barry and the story as a whole, I'd be all for it. In fact, I would be very excited for it and I'd love it. Um, the show is called The Flash, not Team Flash. And the thing with this is Barry is the main character, so he should have the main focus and he should always be the one who has that main storyline regardless of what episode it is. So Barry should have the main storyline whereas the other characters should have a sub story within the episode but I really don't like the idea that these side characters get their own main story, taking up an episode and ending up being a filler episode. But I am interested. Obviously, Chester is a new character, so I do understand that they want to show his struggles and his backstory to obviously develop his character. 
And for that purpose, I am very interested because we don't know much about Allegra as well as Chester yet. So when those two characters get their main focus, I'll let it slide because we haven't seen them get that push yet. But if it's for other characters, then it's just not something I'm a fan of. Now, Iris with the Speed Force storyline is very interesting and that seems to be connected with the story which we left off from episode 3. So, if it's something like this, as I said, I'm a fan of it and I'm all for it. I would be very excited for it. Now, obviously last episode, we found out that Iris had some sort of leftover Speed Force within her after she became a speedster during season 4 episode 16, I think it was. And she was basically able to power the fusion sphere to help Barry get his speed back. And they didn't really properly explain how she was able to do this other than that connection she had with Barry. So I'm hoping we get like a more in-depth explanation over there. Because remember guys, when Nash touched the fusion sphere, he was at risk of dying. But when Iris touched it, nothing happened to her. So I'm very interested to see how they, you know, explain all of that, if they obviously do. But Iris forging a connection with the Speed Force, what does that mean? Does Iris get some sort of abilities? I doubt that is the case. I think this is some sort of, you know, a storyline that they use to explain how Iris was the one who was centered around being the main part to bringing the Speed Force back and giving Barry his speed back. And obviously having that connection to Barry, that is what I think could potentially be going on over here. Now we have some promo images to go over for the upcoming episode of The Flash, which is Season 7 Episode 4, titled Central City Strong. And as I said before, we have 18 images to go through, so yeah, there's quite a lot. So in the first shot, we have Barry doing some CSI work and he's analyzing the crime scene, which I love. We haven't seen this in a while, so it's so great to see Barry do more of this CSI work. And hopefully he does do this more often, because in Season 6, I don't remember him doing this at all. And I think they left this story like midway into Season 5, and they just ditched the whole forensic thing. So seeing Barry do this forensic work for this episode not only brings nostalgia, but it, it just makes me happy, because it was something I really, really liked in the earlier seasons of The Flash. And if they bring it back, I think it would be pretty cool to see. Now, in the next shot, we have Joe and behind him, you do see that crime scene tape. So he's at the crime scene as well, which you would expect because he's obviously a cop. And he's in the very scene which Barry is examining. Now, he seems to be taking some sort of notes of the crime scene as he does have like a mini notebook on his hand and he does have a pen out with him. So probably he's putting in some like, you know, bullet points in regards to the key points in this crime scene and what this could mean. Now, in the next shot, we have Cisco. Um, he's using this device to analyze the scene. Um, basically, what's happening in that scene. And yes, he is in the crime scene as well, because number one, we see in other points in promo photos that he's with Barry as well as Joe and the others as well. And number two, we see him wearing some sort of like a CCPD consultant badge. But over here, he's probably trying to get some sort of like, you know, readings to see what might have happened in the crime scene. But we do also have the shot of Cisco as well as Chester. And right off the bat, you guys could see they gave my boy a new fresh cut. Chester's looking fresh. He's got a new haircut. Um, yeah, he's helping out with the crime scene as well and seems to be assisting Cisco with that device which he was holding earlier. Now, I'm very interested to see how they will handle these two because these characters, as I said before, they're so similar to each other. Like, in terms of how they act, they're so similar. It will be very cool to see how they interact with each other. So that is something which I'm really looking forward to going into this episode as well. But we do also have the shot of Cisco. Chester, Joe, and Barry staring at a dead body as they're wondering how a bunch of cards probably killed someone, in which they find out it was Kadabra all along. And speaking of Abracadabra, we get the shot of him at night in the very crime scene which Barry is examining during the day, and he has his suit and he has this wand out. So we're probably going to see how he ends up killing that person, obviously. Now, it seems like Team Flash are organizing some sort of like, you know, a campaign as we have this shot of Caitlyn in the outside 
and it does link to the opening scene of the heart trailer where we have team flash like you know doing a couple of things with the outside of star labs but also we have this shot of allegra wearing a central city strong jumper and caitlin seems to be wearing like a blue version of that jumper it is hard to tell because we do not see the full shirt but this is probably some sort of like you know star labs campaign to help out and make central city better or in other words make central city stronger and more united i guess now we then have a couple of different shots of barry suited up in his suit in star labs um yeah they look pretty cool i just really really like how the suit looks it's just such a cool suit um they're probably searching for like you know the whereabouts of abracadabra or something since he is the main villain of this episode and he's the villain of the week of this episode and he's obviously doing this with the help of Team Flash. But in Star Labs, we do have some shots of Allegra and Caitlyn. But we do have Caitlyn looking confused about something. And as I said before, we have Allegra right next to her. But then in like the main area of the cortex, we have Chester, Cisco, and Iris at one point. And as I said, they're helping out as well. But lastly, with these promo images, we have this random shot of Iris no idea where she is and she's probably in like the central city citizen or something it's hard to tell because the background is blurred really well it's hard to pick where she is but we do see that her hair is cut short so maybe this is to just you know justify a short time jump which we'll be getting between the episodes three to four i'm not entirely sure or it could just be like iris just got a haircut the week after they defeated eve or something who knows but also we do get the shot of Iris having some sort of like, you know, date with Barry at their house where we have like, you know, the candles lighting up everywhere and like the room is dark itself. You know, that romantic atmosphere couples usually have is kind of like that. Now, as I said, we do have some new episode titles to go over. So firstly, we get this title for the Flash season seven, episode six, which I mentioned before the one with the 90s which is obviously the time travel episode where we will be heading to the year of 1998 and we'll be exploring that chester's backstory and whatever it is that they're looking for but also we have the title revealed for the flash season 7 episode 7 which is titled growing pains now i have no idea what this could mean but this is actually the episode where something happens to frost or caitlin now for those who have not seen the set photos, I'm not going to mention it for this video because it could be a spoiler depending on which way you interpret it with. So I'm not going to say it for the sake of this video, but for those who have obviously seen the set photos, you guys would know what I'm talking about. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think about the new synopsis which we're getting. Are you guys excited for this time travel episode? Um, also be sure to tell me how excited you are for the coming episode of The Flash. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.